we love to eat and we love to cook. So I make all these Chinese New Year dishes and uh, I used to make about an eight or nine course meal every year. I haven't done it lately. The Jai dish is very traditional and I was taught by a Buddhist. He was my children's Chinese teacher. It's truly a Buddhist Jai. Have you been making it every year since you? Yes, I have been making it every year. Different cooks use a different number of ingredients, so I am using 16 ingredients. Strictly vegetarian, we have carrots, baby corn in there, canned straw mushrooms. This is the Napa cabbage. It's like a lot, but it cooks down to nothing. Let me show you how to hold the Chinese cleaver. See this middle finger, put it right against there. Just remember when you're slicing, never put your finger between what you're slicing and the knife, and then you won't cut yourself. And when you're a little older, I'll, I'll let you use the cleaver, okay? Hair moss, or fa choy in Chinese, as in gung hei fa choy, meaning good luck. And this is the uh, golden needle, or tiger lilies. You take it and tie it. It tastes better because it doesn't fall apart. Fresh baby bok choy hearts. And this is the cloud ears. So this is how I prep the fried gluten balls and fried tofu squares. Just mainly to get rid of the excess oil. You know, you don't want your jar to be fatty. Dried black mushrooms and save the water from the soaking mushrooms. So we're gonna use that as part of the liquid that goes to the jai. And here's some soybean sheets. Ginkgo nuts here from China, and these little baby bamboo shoots. What do you make now that uh, I've taught you to cook? I've been trying to make um, French macarons. Where did you learn how to do that? Online. <laughs> Online? Mm -hmm. Well, you don't need me. <laughs> now we're going to mash the ginger root. See what the Chinese cleaver can do? Okay, that's good. They're all prepped and I'll we'll start cooking. I'll cook each ingredient separately in a wok and then I'll put it in a pot in which I'm gonna cook all the ingredients together in. And we'll start with the ingredients that uh, take the longest to cook. I'll be using safola oil. I'll keep track of how much oil I'll be using. I have one cup of oil here. Turn on the heat. And this is a handmade wok made in China. It's supposed to be the best wok to use. You want to feel the wok, see how hot it is? Pour about a tablespoon of oil there. When you make ratatouille, how you cook each ingredient separately, and then you put it in a pot together. Making jai is very similar to that method. And you're supposed to put the mushrooms in wet. Fat choy. We're just uh, sauteing it. It gives it flavor. You can't have that sticking onto there when I'm cooking the other ingredients. Do you want to stir fry? Not too much oil now. Hold it like this. Toss it up. Toss it up. Salt. Wee bit of sugar. Oh, it's getting real good at tossing. And this is mushroom water, and it's very tasty, so we want to use that. Uh, we need more liquid, so we'll just use water. And then we we'll turn it to about medium-high to get it boiling, and then we'll turn it down to a simmer. 16 ingredients. You want to mix it? Okay, we can transfer that over here. <laughs> we didn't use very much oil. There's a third left, so we can use about two-thirds. If I don't use more than a cup, that's good. Okay, we're gonna let this cook for about half an hour to 45 minutes. We celebrate Chinese New Year for about 10 days, so we make enough so that it lasts two weeks. We have some relatives that live in LA, and every once in a while they'll come up and join us for Chinese New Year. But everybody that lives here in San Francisco will come together and have Chinese New Year dinner. That's really fun. I just use uh, salt, sugar, and soy sauce. Very minimal seasoning. I like it that way.